We're Marianne and Chris, and we've been traveling full-time since 2018. We're currently spending a few weeks in the country of Georgia. A country with fantastic mountain views, crazy roads, and even crazier driving. You can't see, what is that? And let's not forget unusual architecture, delicious food, and cows on the road. <coughs> Good morning. We have woken up just on the outskirts of Kutaisi. We had a lovely quiet night's sleep here, uh, this little campsite we found. And this morning, we're gonna get head into the city and uh, show you around. I think this has to be the biggest roundabout that we've ever been on. This is nuts. I love it. So now we just got to find somewhere to park. Watch out there. Start with merging. There you go, there. There we go. That's oh, lovely, we just had a car stop and welcome us. So we're pretty sure that that is a, uh, is a parking meter. It looks like a parking meter. Purchase a fixed time. Please enter the zone and your parking number. Oh. This might get confusing. We have no idea how the parking meter works. So Marianne's just popped into the, uh, the little shop here to see if she can get some help. So it's a little bit confusing because the lady's done it on the machine and then it doesn't accept our Georgian phone number or her phone number. So the lovely lady in the shop that was helping us, she's assured us, don't worry, just leave your van here and uh, go off, enjoy the day, and uh, she'll look after the van for us. So we're gonna go and have a look at the city. Welcome to Katesi, Georgia's second largest city. Located 221 kilometers west of the capital city of Georgia, Tbilisi. And is on the Rioni River, which runs straight through the heart of the city. It is the capital of the western region of Imereti. So our first stop this morning is Bagrat Cathedral, which you can see just through the trees there. It's about a 10 minute walk, so that's where we're heading right now. The bridge we're crossing now is called the Chain Bridge, hence all this decorative work here. And all the way up, there are actually chains holding the bridge up. If we're going to film somewhere, we look at the weather forecast and try and plan to go out when it's nice and dry. Sometimes you don't always have that luxury and today is looking a little bit cloudy. Uh, the heavens may well open for us later. So we're just walking up the, uh, the back streets. There's lovely little staircases going to these houses. A few vintage cars on the way. <laughs> Cathedral and it's called Bagrat Cathedral because it was built by Bagrat III in the 10th century and he was the first king of a united Georgia. It's considered to be one of the best examples of Georgian medieval architecture. And it was completed in the 11th century. And is a symbol of unity. Really nice carved stone on the outside of the uh, cathedral here.
This city dates back from between the 3rd and the 6th century when it was the capital of the Colchis. From October 2012 to December 2018, this city was actually the seat of parliament here in Georgia before it moved back to Tbilisi. Marianne, what are you doing behind the bars? I'm practicing for breaking road laws. Marianne's been locked up for her driving. <laughs> Actually, no, she hasn't really. <laughs> Have you heard of the myth, the legend that is Jason and the Argonauts searching for the Golden Fleece? Well, this city was named to be their final destination in search of that Golden Fleece. And from the uh, cathedral, you get uh, probably one of the better views over the city with the mountains in the background there overlooking it it's a big city it goes all the way into the distance in both directions Marianne's decided that's her new home how <laughs> cool would that be to live in a tower with a big metal door it's a very cool looking tower and it's got a very nice view. It has, although it would be the same view every day. In Trudy, we get a different view every day, which makes life interesting. And now we're going to head back into the city. We're going to go and find the Green Bazaar. We're just walking down the, uh, back down the hill. Can you hear those cicadas? It's literally like being in a jungle in Borneo. It's really, really so loud. loud. Okay, we come back down into the uh, into the city, and now we're going to try and find the uh, local bazaar, the green bazaar. Oh, a local bakery! Smell that! Oh, it smells like custard vanilla slices. <laughs> Little uh, shops there selling veg. So I think the market should be somewhere over here. That looks like a market. Yama Joba! Wow! Let's have a little look around. As soon as you come in, you can smell the spices. There's the spice shop. Oh, Yama Joba! <laughs> Smells good! Lots of sacks of spices here in the store and uh, oh, a freezer full of uh, fish, fish bits, more spices. Walking around the local markets, you really get a feel of local life. Uh, lots of vegetable stands here. We're gonna buy some of these apples. Uh, we've never seen them this sort of color, red and sort of yellowy, but uh, try some local apples. So I've seen that these things are uh, like a snack, I think, in Georgia. Natural uh, church keller. Can we have one of those and one of those? One? Yeah. We want to try. One? Yes. And yeah. Thank you. Renati. Ten and two. Ten and two. Ten and two. So we're just going to try. This is my first time trying this here in Georgia. It's basically like jelly with nuts and it's made a bit like a candle. There is a wick that goes all the way through it to form it. So they obviously dip it in. Fruity nutty. There's a string. What do you reckon? No. Nope. <laughs> it's a bit. It's not Haribo. It's not Haribo. It's not that sweet. Oh, so this way we're going through the uh, the butcher's section. They've got some chickens, lots of nuts, gamma jobba. Through the uh, the butcher section, the meat section. And fish. They've got lots of uh, mainly chicken here and beef. Oh, 
So now we're coming down into a massive fruit and veg section. You can smell all the herbs. It's a really big market. Oh, look at all these spices. Smell. Oh. Spaghetti. Spaghetti sauce. So, oh. Oh, smells really good. Beautiful. Mmm. Paprika. Georgia saffron. Oh. They've got saffron in Georgia. Wow. I didn't know that. It's a good taste of local life here in Georgia and I got a little bit hectic in the market it's always a little bit hectic in markets so as you come out of the uh, the market here look at this this is a very good example of uh, it's called a Soviet bass relief this type of artwork and that is absolutely amazing the detail on that is fascinating expected to come around the corner and see a Dunkin Donuts and a Wendy's here in the city centre but there is there's daisies on the zebra crossing maybe there's <laughs> one for every person that was killed <laughs> the good thing walking around Georgia is uh, when you come to a zebra crossing the cars will stop 99.9% .9 of the cars will stop so uh, after a little walk around the market now now we're gonna go and find a bit of lunch we just come to this uh, little restaurant called Paolo's. Looks like they do some Georgian food, so we'll uh, we'll see what we can get for lunch. There's a lovely building behind you, lovely. Is there? Yeah, hello. Yamajoba. So we've got a nice bottle of spring water from the Caucasus Mountains, which is local Georgian, and it's nice because it's in glass. Wow, look at this. This is a traditional dish, apparently from this region here in Georgia, and it's a bean dish. It's sizzling in a little clay pot there. Beans with some herbs and vegetables, some pickled chilies, pickled cabbage, some sort of homemade bread. Oh, it smells really good. Mmm. It's a lovely beef stew and a pickled cabbage. lovely the bread is is very it's actually quite dense the bread actually tastes quite bland but it's deep fried and uh, presumably is made to be dunked and get the flavor from the beans and mushrooms with Georgian cheese and it's called saguni saguni cheese and mushrooms in a little clay pot this is actually two of my favorite foods <laughs> cheesy mushrooms i don't think you can really go wrong with cheesy mushrooms how does the cheese taste is that nice rich cheese generally when you go out to eat they don't serve all your dishes at the same time they tend to just come out of the kitchen as and when they're ready in the kitchen so you can finish your meal before your partner's even dish arrives it's, and that that seems the norm over here or you finish your main course before your vegetables and your potato side dishes side dishes arrive right i'm gonna tuck in so after a quick lunch we are heading back to the river there's a bridge called the white bridge uh, which everybody's told us we have to go and have a look at which is about five minutes walk this way but this part of the city feels uh, nice and modern little parks tree lined little streets so we have arrived at the white bridge look at that for a view over the river it's a really nice spot i'm pleased people told us to come to come down here the sun's just come out again on the floor they've got these glass bits here so you can walk across and look straight down at the river below although it is pretty they're quite dirty it's quite hard to actually see and it's all uh, metal engraved uh, panels on the floor of the bridge but look over there that's really cool oh yeah look they've got a very 
funky looking bar down there. And look at all the way the rocks have been washed and actually carved out by the river. And a very cool statue of a little boy sat on the edge. So there is actually a little cable car that runs from down here up to the top of the hill. I can see the uh, little red cable car up there, but at the moment it doesn't seem to be running. So we're just gonna go um, and see if we can find where it leaves from and see if it will be running at any point today. We've just been there. Unfortunately, it is closed at the moment due to COVID restrictions, but if you do come here, it looks pretty cool. Another thing that Kadesi has is a cool street art feel. So uh, we're just gonna go and have a little walk around and see what street art we can find to show you. We've had a lovely walk, haven't we? We have. It's been a day and a half walking around, Ooh. but we found a lovely shaded area with benches right next to a monument. Yes, the monument you can see behind us is the Glory to Labour Monument and is located just next to City Hall. It's a wonderful example of Soviet art. In the middle of the square here, there is the Colchis Fountain. On the fountain, there are 30 golden animals, as well as Tamada, a traditional Georgian Toastmaster. And the statues are all replicas of statues they actually found during archaeological digs, which date back to the Colchis times. In fact, the originals can be seen in the museum in Tbilisi. Okay, we've arrived back at Trudy. No ticket? No ticket. No ticket. Always good. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider clicking the subscribe button below to come on this amazing adventure with us. And we will see you next time.